the Honda Civic 93, 1.5. The radiator fan wasn't working. Uh, first thing I did was check the radiator fan itself. And to do that, I took off this reservoir, like that, slides off. And these wires connect straight to the radiator fan. And here we have the, the two terminals of the radiator fan. You want to connect those to the, the battery. And if you notice here, see a black wire and the red wire, you can keep track. Keep track of the terminals. The black wire negative goes to the negative terminal on the battery. Um, the red, black and red in this case, goes to the positive terminal on the battery. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just connect them straight to the, those the batteries using the wire any way you can. Just make sure you don't short out the the battery. So you can use these alligator clips or any wires and uh, let's go ahead and connect them straight to the battery. So once you do that, you can hear the fan is working perfectly fine. The cooling fan, uh, you want to check the relay. Uh, and before you even start on this project, uh, you want to check your, your fuses inside the car. Now to check the relay, usually what they tell you in other videos is to switch the relays and pretty much my cooling fan relay is this one and this is another one but they're they're different uh, if they were the same usually you just switch them out and turn on your car and then see if your cooling fan works in this case I can't do that so in order to check the relay this relay I have to short out short out the the cooling fan switch which is right here, this brown piece right here. In order to find the cooling fan switch, go ahead and find the lower radiator hose and just follow it till you get to your thermostat. You see the brown part right there? That's your cooling fan switch. Uh, this, this connector, this is a connector right here. You wanna go ahead and pull that out. And to test your, your relay, and you wanna you wanna short these leads right here. So all you wanna do is grab a paper clip. You wanna grab a paper clip and bend it in a way that you can insert. See? Bend it in a way it can insert both ends. Yeah, you can't really see, but they think you get the point. You just uh, insert it, and it's gonna short out the. This, well, it's not really the switches right here, but you're just gonna create a short. And you can go ahead and turn on your car once that's on. The the paper clip is on. You can just turn on your car, and you'll be testing your your relay switch. If your fan turns on, that means your relay is working properly. Um, if it's not turning on, then your problem is your relay switch. Uh, because we already checked the fan. So, okay. That's pretty much it. So here, I've inserted the paper clip and I'm gonna go turn on my ignition and you can hear the fan turn on. All I did was turn the key on my ignition just once and this is shorted and the fan is running. That means the relay here is, is on, it's working properly. The fan is obviously working. Uh, last thing to check would be the cooling fan switch and then the thermostat. But we'll go ahead and do that next. And if you can see this, if I pull this out, no power is going to the fan. 
So the last two reasons why your fan would be turning on would be because your cooling fan switch is bad or because the thermostat is bad. And I went ahead and replaced the, the cooling fan switch. So all you really need, mine was a, let me see, what is this? A 24 millimeter, just insert it, take it out, it comes out pretty, pretty easy. And it looks like this. So I've already done it. This is like a plastic part right here. You have the, the two terminals and then pretty much goes in like this. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Uh, next video, I'll be showing you how to switch the thermostat.